Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be another Scentsy haul. This is a party closeout haul that I did for my party that I had open most of October and a little bit of November. I picked up some things that I wanted to stock up on, a couple new warmers, and a lot of wax. So without further ado, let's get into it. As you guys know, I am a Sensi consultant, and one of my favorite perks is having parties and party links. So I was able to get a lot of this stuff with host credits and half off items. So I got some gifts for friends and family for the holidays, as well as some things for myself. And we will start with something for myself that I was so excited to get more of, and that is the Fall Into Love laundry bundle. So the laundry bundle comes with two washer whiffs in the 16 ounce size and the 20 ounce laundry liquid. I am already using this currently in my washer. Well, not currently in my washer right now, but in my laundry, I love Fall Into Love. You will see a Fall Into Love trend here. Um, actually, it's only two items, but still. I love Fall Into Love. It is this really pretty eucalyptus and what is it? Balsam and apple. Isn't that it? It's something like that. Oh, it is so good. It is so strong. It lasts on your clothes and it lasts in your home. When I melt this bar, it goes for days and days and days. I love Fall Into Love. It's definitely going into my club. I want to constantly have some in my house. So I picked that up. I also picked up some festive bulbs. I got a three pack of green bulbs and a three pack of red bulbs. So I picked these up because I want to add some color to some of my warmers for the holidays. And you can only get um, bulbs in packs of three now, which is fine because you always want to have bulbs on hand. So makes it easier that way. And then I picked up a three pack of fragrance flowers. If you're not aware of a fragrance flower, it's essentially like a reed diffuser, just a lot more pretty. Um, I will pull this one out to show you. These are all in the Darling Dahlia design. So these are like a really, really pretty wood grain. They're made of wood paper. They're really delicate and pretty. So you take this little paper off the end of the wick, you drop it into the oil, and then it diffuses and scents your home. I use these strictly in my bathroom just because it's a small space. I don't change the wax out really that often or the scent out in my bathroom. And I don't really spend a lot of time in the bathroom except when I'm in the shower or getting ready for the day. So I go in and out a lot. So I constantly am noticing the scent. So I love having the fragrance flowers for that. Now they have changed the packaging to be separate. So this is one fragrance flower. You have the oil here. And then you have the flower here. And I believe it's for inventory purposes. They said why they changed it, whatever. But anyway, I got Fluffy Fleece, which I love. It's such a fresh and clean laundry type of scent. So wanted to get that for the bathroom. And then these are in the older packaging, but they probably still have some left over. And this is Winterberry Apple Tea, which is new and growing so much on me. I love Winterberry Apple Tea have some bars here of it. It is so good. And then I picked up an older one. This is a super older packaging. It doesn't even have the name on it, but it is in aloe water and cucumber, which I figured once it's like January, February, and I want something a little bit different, a little bit more fresh and like a hint of spring, I think aloe water and cucumber will be a great addition there. I also picked up Okay, so for warmers, I actually only got one warmer for myself, but then I had two for friends and customers. The one, I'm not gonna open it because it is for a customer, is the Aziza warmer. This is so pretty. It's gray. It has this beautiful floral design that's pinholed. It's so pretty, makes a beautiful design on your wall. I actually have two of these in my bedroom on each side of my TV. Currently, I love this. I'm actually gonna switch to red bulbs though in it for the holiday, which I'm super excited about. And then, oh, I put this all the way over here. My friend wanted, after seeing my warmer, the fabulous flurry warmer, which has the snowflakes on it. It is so pretty. And let me tell you, seeing this warmer with a blue bulb in it, it is like perfect for the winter. It is so pretty with a blue bulb. So 
I think I have blue bulbs. I have to check. If not, I'm going to add them to my next order. So pick that up. And then the warmer that I picked up for myself, I have been wanting this warmer for so long and I had an extra half off item and I'm like, which warmer am I going to get? The Take a Stand warmer. I wanted a new warmer for my bedroom that wasn't just the Simply Diamond, which is super... Simply that, which is the super short one. I wanted it a little bit bigger, but I wanted an element warmer. And my bedroom is a lot of tans and colors like that. So this is an element warmer. So there is no light bulb. It just uses a heating element. This is eight watts, but I love that it has a little built-in stand. And the detail is so pretty on this warmer. I just love it. And it looks like a nice big dish. You could probably fit a good amount of cubes in here. I'm not going to start using this until after the holiday, though, because I love my warmer setup currently. But when I do switch it out, I'm going to add this there. So I'm really excited for that. All right, let's dive into the bars. Now, I am not going to do in-depth sniff sniffs of these yet because these are early access bars. But I picked up two bars of Born to Lead, the Frozen Bar for Anna. So I picked up these. These come out, I believe, December 1st. I picked up two of the North Calls, which is the Elsa bar. Two of Olaf Warm Hugs, which is the Olaf bar. And then I picked up the Early Access of the Disney It's a Small World Warmer, which is the happiest cruise that ever sailed. I will say, I will smell this. This is like, what is it? P Persian Lime. It's really nice. It's very clean and fresh, like a lime laundry. I'm really impressed with this. Didn't know what to think of it, but really, really like it. So I picked up the two early excess bars of that to give it a sniff. All right, now let's dive into the wax. So as I said, some of these are for me, but a lot of them are for customers. We have five, count them, five of fall into love. I am in love with this scent. When you warm it, it is just perfection. It's so good. Oh, I love it. I cannot get enough. It's totally going in my club. So five bars of fall into love. Four bars of the caramel praline cake, which is also new for the Scents of the Season collection. And this is like if almond croissant had a caramel sibling. It's like a little bit of an extra added caramel into the base of almond croissant. Really, really nice, really pretty. So I picked up four bars of that to have. I also got four bars of my favorite from the sense of the season, sugar plum berry, which smells very similar to Nest Holiday. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. A lot of people are saying there's like a little hint of tree. I could see it, but it's definitely more of that sugary berry fragrance. Mm, so good. So good. So good. All right. Sticking with the sense of the season, I picked up one Homestead Holiday. I know this is for a customer. Yeah, this is nice. This is like blood orange and clove, I think. Something like that. Maple, apple, bourbon. This is also for a customer. This is nice. Sweet maple, little bit of apple. This is also for a customer. This is apple cherry strudel. I actually think she did that like bakery bundle. I forget the name. It's like one of the Sensi curated bundles where it's like fall bakery. I can't remember exactly the name. I love apple cherry strudel. This is a great bakery bar. Sweet cherries, crisp apples with that little bit of a bakery note. I love apple cherry strudel. Then clove and cinnamon. This I don't think I have ever warmed, but it was part of that bakery collection. Oh yeah, mm, this is very, this is very craft store. Oh yeah, not a scent for me. I don't really care for clove cinnamon scents, but there we go. Pumpkin roll. Oh, I love pumpkin roll. This is the most authentic pumpkin roll fragrance I've ever smelled. You get the cream cheese frosting, you get the cake. It is so good. Oh, amazing. I love pumpkin roll. All right. Then I know my friend ordered this because I've been raving about it. Winterberry apple tea. This transforms when you warm it, you guys. 
Like, I know I'm late to the game on Winterberry Apple Tea, but oh my gosh. Yeah, this one absolutely comes alive when you warm it. I have said so many times, oh, this is fine, this is fine. No, when you melt it, and I don't know if it's just the way the weather is, my home, I don't know. It is beautiful. It is perfection. So Winterberry Apple Tea. And then we have Cran Apple Crumble. I am not a fan of this, you guys. It is just that whipped cream note is so strange. It's like whipped cream, brown sugar, and cranberry or cran apples. I don't know why, but the blend of them is just off to me. I don't know. Just very off. Yeah, it's definitely not one that I love. It's it's kind of like how Cookies for Santa, people either loved it or hated it. I was on that hate scale. Did not enjoy that one. Salted Caramel Toffee. Yeah, these are all for my one friend. Salted Caramel Toffee. And this one, this is good. This is good. This is really rich salty caramel. Really good. Oh, so good. And I find that when you take a salted caramel set, it's better to burn um, or melt a salted caramel scent than burn it in a candle. Because when you burn a candle, you get like that burnt scent. And I think it verges on really burnt caramel when you burn a caramel candle. So I like melting caramel better. And then make me snickerdoodle. I was actually just doing this one in my dining room, living room, and kitchen the other day. It's good. It's just not a favorite. I don't like the cinnamon sugar note that they're using here with the cookie. So... This is for a friend. I was actually saying in my last video, blending like a cube of cran apple crumble and a cube of make me snickerdoodle, like a cranberry cookie. I feel like that would be really good. All right, now the rest are all for me. I know that for a fact. I picked up two bars of fluffy fleece. I love fluffy fleece. Love, it is so good. Let me see the description. I actually have a catalog here. Fluffy fleece. Black currant and cozy musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. I don't know. It's pretty. That's all I can say. It does smell like like fresh laundry in the winter. It is my favorite Scentsy laundry. Absolutely. My favorite Scentsy laundry fragrance. So love Fluffy Fleece. I know those are bars for me. Another fragrance that I absolutely fell in love with this year is Frosted Cedar. This is part of the new scents, the new releases. And this one is Red Delicious Apple Adorns Towering White Cedar in a Blanket of Creamy Vanilla. This is another one that absolutely transforms when you warm it. It is so good. Oh, frosted Cedar just hits the right notes. And in a bedroom, it's perfection. It is absolute perfection. Love Frosted Cedar. Next, I don't remember if I've ever tried this. I know I just ordered White Amber and Teak in my last couple hauls ago. So this is White Amber and Silk. I have heard a lot of people really like this one. And the notes are, warm amber and bergamot are wrapped up in a comforting cotton for a smooth finish. Oh, very cottony, very cotton. Oh, but it's interesting, even though it's cotton, I would not classify this as a laundry fragrance. It smells like cotton towels. Interesting. I don't know when I would warm this. I don't love it. Okay, we'll see. I definitely have not smelled this before. Definitely new to me. This is not new to me and I love this one. This is Rum Pum Plum. This is definitely going in my club. This is currently in the holiday collection, and it's as close as I'm going to get to having Sweet Plum Pastry in my club because I don't have Sweet Plum Pastry in my club. I have four bars of it left, and I am hoarding it for special occasions because I just love the scent so much. But Rum Pum Plum, it's like Sweet Plum Pastry. Oh, wow, this is, like, really hard to get out. But a lot more of that bakery note, which is really good. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. If you have not tried Rum Plum Plum and you like Sweet Plum Pastry, definitely give that guy a try. I finished. I finished. I also picked up two bars of Velvet Moon. This one I thought I tried, but I wasn't sure again on. And the notes on Velvet Moon. Is it in fresh? No. 
floral. Soft vanilla flower and white musk glow behind a silky layer of foggy mist. Oh, this is really elegant. Oh, this is really pretty. I was not expecting this to smell like this, but I really like it. This is nice. This is definitely floral, but it's a comforting floral. Like, I think the name Velvet Moon fits this perfectly, and I could totally see melting this in a bedroom. Like, this is totally a bedroom scent. Like, a comforting, after a long day, slipping into some PJs, like silk PJs. This is like a silk fragrance. This is nice. Ooh. Ooh, I'm very excited to melt this one. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting to like Velvet Moon as much as I do. I picked up two Cozy Cardigans. I love Cozy Cardigan. And this guy is... Find Bedded Bliss in Layers of Soft Suede, Blushing Rose, and Amber Silk. So good. So good. So classic. And it just smells comforting, soothing, relaxing. This is another bedroom scent. I've been so into these type of scents more lately than bakery, which I know I've said. It just, they hit differently. Like, I really love how warm, comforting, and soothing they are. And this is so good. Yeah, this is really good. Ugh, love Cozy Cardigan. Next, I have Golden Garland, which if you watched my last video, this is also a new release. This smells very similar to Autumn Road Trip. And this one is, oh, forest pine, forest pine needles intertwined with miracle petal sparkling orange twist and a touch of golden musk. Yeah, it even smells like um, autumn road trip on cold, but on warm, it really comes alive and smells like autumn road trip. So if you like autumn road trip, I think you'd like this. I picked up two more of Silver Bells. I just want to stock up on this fragrance. I love this. This is the most unique holiday fragrance I think Scentsy has ever had. Mint candy canes dance over warm and welcoming winter pear, all enveloped in a velvety blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar. This is so different. The candy cane just hits you in the back, but it's so subtle that all the other notes come alive with it. The caramel, the vanilla, it's so comforting. The pear, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. I picked up two more of Midnight Mahogany. I did this one in my office and I was really surprised I liked it. So I wanna see how it does in my living room, dining room, kitchen area. And this is Juicy Black Plum, Plum and Cinnamon Leaf Brighten Up Dark Mahogany on a Secluded Moon Lit Stroll. I like this, I do. This is very like library, very comforting mahogany. It's very warm, woodsy. If you don't like mahogany teakwood from Bath and Body Works or White Amber and Teak from Scentsy, I think you would like this. It's a very different mahogany and the dark plum really comes alive in it and sweetens it up. And then the last two bars I picked up are Eucalyptus Wreath. I definitely have had this, but it was in my old place, which nothing through there. So I want to give it another shot in this house. And the notes read, Fresh eucalyptus is woven with juniper and adorned with frosted mint. Now, juniper, I've been growing on. This is so pretty. This is. And like I said, eucalyptus is not a scent I typically gravitate towards. But sometimes you just want something different, and this is really pretty. This, to me, is the winter version of Just Breathe. If you really like Just Breathe, I think you'd like this. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. All right. Well... That was my haul. And that was pretty quick, under 20 minutes, but I just wanted to film this, get this out here so I can put all this stuff away and clear my canvas. Uh, I hope you guys have a great week. This is going to go up on Black Friday, so I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. If you're out shopping watching this, I hope you're having a great Black Friday, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you guys. Bye.